Yo, DJ, pull that up. The Yak, presented by Roback, Roback uh, quarter sips, uh, polo shirts, hats, uh, just p- joggers, joggers, uh, joggers, the quarter zip. The entire the their entire fleet of merchandise is elite. They have an elite fleet over at Roback. You need to get some Roback today. It's great for the outdoors. It's great for the indoors. And if you have one foot in both, you'll still feel comfortable. Promo code YAK, Roback.com. 20% off through the rest of this week. R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Good ass deal. Incredible deal. So good it made Sass want to sing something. Oh, no, I'm not singing that. Let my people <laughs> go. <laughs> you walked in here singing that. <laughs> It was just because I watched Ari Shafir's special and it plays at the end of it, (laughs) (laughs) and it's been stuck in my head since then. What was the beginning part of the song though? I only have ever heard the "Let My People Go" part. That's how it starts, I think. With "Let My People Go," what are the other words? Jesus was in Moses. It was. It's when when Israel was in Egypt's land. Let my people go. (laughs) We did a slaves unit in fourth grade, and we all had to learn like songs like that. Was, uh, excuse me. Yeah, you know, a slaves yeah. unit. We did like half the year. We just like learned a play about slavery for some reason. I was like, this seems like a lot for. Is that something you dance and sing about? <laughs> no, we. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That seems a little bit. Bro, uh, a little Harriet mind. Beecher Stowe wrote yeah. Uncle Tom's Cabin, and that's like a singing and dancing uh, play I feel about. Like we can't. They got. DJ, did you play themselves. a slave? I don't know if he played a pharaoh. <laughs> He played a slave owner. We were just, we definitely wore all black, and I don't know what the premises of the play was, though. We definitely sung songs. What, what other actions were you doing? Uh, it was one whip cracked. I feel like we were like... Was there a whip prop? I feel like we might have been on the Underground Railroad. You played slave? Railroad, you could, probably. Because they were the only people on there. Yeah, yeah. There was no coster mongers. I heard no costume mongers on the. I don't think the, so. I don't think no haberdasheries off to the side. Not on the Underground Railroad, I don't think. Unless there were. Interesting. But wait, so you learned about all all nationality slavery? Because obviously Moses, the Egyptians, and the Israelites have nothing to do with the Underground Railroad. I know that that song was part of it. I think it was mostly an Underground Railroad based uh, unit. They probably were just singing the song as well, wanting them to let their people go. How is Ari special? Good. I've seen it before. It's really good. Just wanted to, to just uh, refresh yourself. Oh, yeah. A little game tape. Yeah. X. <laughs> no, I just scroll around YouTube and I just hop and listen to different things. For a whole hour, though. No, I skip around. Oh, got it. Uh, Matt McCusker's special was good, though. Yeah, it was very funny. You, either of you guys watch that? I, I would like to. Is it like the to speed of I've light? only heard great things about this man, but never did a deep dive. He's very funny. He yeah he he nailed it. I wish I could watch it, but I packed my apartment too early. No TV. <laughs> return my internet. Just boxes. Nowhere to sit. I got got excited for two yeah, yeah, two, weeks. two weeks. That's like standing up uh, on during takeoff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. <laughs> I unbuckled when the wheels yeah. go up. Yeah. What the fuck? That is an insane move on your part. But Thought I had more shit. I'd expect nothing less from the guy who gets to the airport seven hours early. Dude, I'm I'm the most punctual bitch you'll ever meet. They fu- they had to call my name on the loud the airport yeah, they wide to, they loud to speaker. Me. It was so embarrassing. Yeah. Were you where were you? I was like running through the terminal. Oh really? It was that late? Yeah. That happened to me, and I was at the wrong gate. Oh, that's a nightmare situation. Yeah. Did you miss the flight? No, I just walked to my gate. Oh, they were calling my name through, over through the whole airport. Were you embarrassed as fuck? I was just like, I took my headphones off and I was like, did they just say my name? Did they just dox me? me? <laughs> yeah, you were probably so pissed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's you know, you're not expecting to hear your name amplified yeah, no, through an entire airport. It's a visceral, weird <laughs> feeling. Yeah. To hear that. Yeah. Those airport employees have to say the most complex of Chinese names. Oh, yeah. I, I was love just, just listening. I was just thinking that. They must be pumped when they just see a Kyle Bauer on the list. Oh, they uh, fist bump. <laughs> no, they'll still fuck that up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, West Virginia, they could not say that during the AU tour. sound doesn't. I'll buy. Uh, AUE, three vowels. Yeah, that's French thing. to them. <laughs> yeah, it does not hit. But they'll hit you with the, they'll say a uh, Hispanic name perfectly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maria Villalobo. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> he'll say that shit. He'll land that one fucking perfectly. I just witnessed that happening. But who? How do they pick who they call? Like, how, is I think it, it's if you're checked in, like oh, if you've okay. gone through TSA, but you're not at your gate. Like, well, the guy's in oh. the airport. Where the fuck is? Or like he checked in for the flight, that even if it's it. probably mobile. Yeah, like, probably checked in for the flight. Where? Because so they will wait for you. It's not like they're just slamming door. Sometimes yeah. they'll even keep it a little bit longer as you run through. Totally. Have you ever gotten to a uh, gate, the door is locked, but you can still see your plane there? No. I oh, know. That sounds awful. I've been the last person on a plane a few times. Yeah. That feels awesome. Yeah. Kind of. The relief. I mean, who cares? Are you saying it feels kind of bad because everybody's looking at you like you held us up? No, it's just like it, when that happens, it's usually extremely stressful getting there. But the relief no, sprinting you made it. the airport. Yeah. I will feeling. never run in an airport. Oh, I sprinted through JFK. <laughs> I, I would I would have loved breaks. to see that. I had to take breaks because I was so out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, my, I was the last gate at JFK. And I was already late. And then it's I always was like, the last gate. Yeah. It's never you anytime you're late, you're never the first gate. You're the yeah, last it's gate in the after. whole airport. JFK if they're like four already. hours early, play some Final Fantasy at the gate. Hell no. JFK is already as far as it can be. It's the farthest ends of the earth. And now LaGuardia is nicer now, but it's way bigger. It used to be like super condensed. You could just walk to your gate in three steps. Now you are going to be going through four concourses to get there. You used to decide if you're going to get on the moving walkway if, or if you're going to go around it. Like you're going to be waiting behind people. I don't mind because they have those signs that say... This will, seven be, minutes. this will be a five to seven minute walk for you. But if you're already late and you get that information, you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's true. Can I make it four? I mean, I, dude, I landed at JFK once and everyone started getting on this bus. And I was like, how long is it if I just walk? And he's like, it's going to be like 25 minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm like, like what the miles. fuck, dude? Dude, that Tyler Miller just missed his flight from he was going to Atlanta this past weekend to film some Pat Bev shit. He got to the airport, got to his terminal, was just going to make it in time, but then he had to get on a bus to go across yeah. to a different terminal. Yeah, yeah but nothing good has ever airport. happened to Tyler. <laughs> He's the most unlucky dude on earth. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true. He's all he's always getting fucked. Four people over just moved and over. Into his his yeah. studio apartment with him. He, yeah, he just got a studio in West Village, so it's tiny, and he has people living with him. Yeah, he's hey, what like do you sleeping mean? like a on Vietnamese stove, train? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people are just stacked on top. Why are people of living with him? Because like it's the in between time. Oh, like his brother his and family, shit. Family, yeah. yeah. I was at the Reno airport, and it was a long TSA line. I was about two-thirds of the way through it, and this old guy just cuts everyone. He's running through, like, where was I standing before I left? Oh, <laughs> he's like, where, wait, where was I? I can't I was in remember. front of you. <laughs> and, yeah, it worked. That's such a fucking brutal move. I had to get out of line. I was waiting in the TSA line. I had to get out of line because my ticket said Nick and not Nicholas, and so I had to go change it. And then oh, really? Yeah. Have you ever seen Dave Pargazzi has a bit about he does that. have yeah, it. yeah but my, it was so true. it happens yeah. yeah it's outrageous he's like oh. ah this isn't gonna work he's like it says uh it says Nathan yeah he's like I scanned my passport and made like a <laughs> sound I was like, <laughs> I was like oh no yeah. what's that <laughs> they're like there's no there's no Nicholas that has a ticket this ID says you're 185 <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait wait this happened um then Reno. My girlfriend couldn't get in the, into the TSA line because I put her birthday wrong. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no, That's Kyle. It was a quick fix. That's a fight. Though. That's devastating. Yeah. She hasn't forgiven you for that. Because you put her eye color I always, in wrong. I get June and July, six and seven mixed up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you have to write them down. So what is her birthday? I, don't say it. Don't, oh, yeah, don't say it. You know it. I know you know it. I do know it. Six, seven, and eight, I fuck up. No, my constantly parents and my sister. Because you never had to write them during school. I yeah, that's probably what it is. I wow. know one through five, and then I know nine, eleven, and on. That's how. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's September nine. Yeah. You guys seen Hard Knocks? You guys didn't watch Hard Knocks last uh, night. No. The guy was like, well, yeah, that shit's not gonna happen till nine, eleven, and he was talking about the uh, opening date, but they had to, like specified that he wasn't talking about the, them fucking up the team. We're talking about the Jets. <laughs> Yeah, the Jets on 9-11. Oh, yeah. They had to like really specify in the closed captions that he was not being... The Jets going to be good this year? Jets melting the Steelers on 9-11. <laughs> possible. That's not physically possible. No, no, no. Uh, Jets will get it. They're going to have 11 eight wins. Eight. You think they're going to have 11 wins? Yeah, they're stacked. Nine, seven. Alvin Cook. It's, uh, 17 games now, bro. KB. Fuck, yeah. They're on the 16-game drip. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, they got Dalvin Cook, Brees Hall, and they had Michael Carter the year before that. They just added Valdez Gantling and Nicole Hardman. Oh no, Lazard and Lazard and Garrett um, Wilson. And they already had Garrett Wilson. I, as yes. a, my entire life, I've never had a quarterback that you could be confident in. Pennington? No, he wasn't that level. It was he? The he best wasn't like had in your lifetime. Yes, Sanchez. People were hopeful about, but they weren't confident. In we were never c- re- truly confident with Pennington. Do you think handsome people get a longer leash? With what? Like Sanchez was a good looking. They guy. get drafted higher, but they get like uh, Zach know. Wilson. I want an old. Well, I think quarterbacks phase. are inherently more handsome because they're confident enough to try out for quarterback. Yeah, definitely. It's a genetic thing. You have to be genetically superior to be a quarterback. But you can't keep your job as a quarterback just because you're handsome. Mm. Who? Who has been a very handsome elite? Jimmy G. Oh, elite. handsome and elite. I don't I mean I Brady. Don't... Do you consider yeah. Brady? Yeah, but he got he's, buccal no, fat he's, surgery. He's uh, like masculine handsome. Mark Sanchez is like bachelor handsome. Okay. Who? So um, who else is bachelor handsome? Would you say Zach, Zach Wilson is as well? He's cute as a he's button. Like cute, yeah. He's but he still boy. will be on the he's bachelor. Like he wouldn't win the bachelor. You know what Zach Wilson looks like? <laughs> yeah, I do. He's cute as a <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. button. Totally. Yeah, he looks like cute a Pixar character. Yeah, he looks like he has squeaky cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we all just maybe. I think we. I think their handsomeness is inflated because they're NFL quarterbacks. Yeah, that's a thought. No, have you seen Joe Burrow? Yeah, I don't think. He's oh, handsome. Joe Burrow's. You don't. No. What? I fuck with that sass. I don't think. You don't he think is. he's handsome? He has a no. something about him. He got something. Yeah, that's he's a quarterback. I don't think if anyone, if he was a normal dude and you saw him on the street, no one would even flinch. I think they would. Yeah. Oh, no one would even go. What the? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh my! The skin fade with the Cartier glasses. What is he? Six three. Six, well, when did he get that haircut? When did he get the fucking TikTok haircut? He bossed up this offseason. Yeah, he boss up. Is that bossing up? <laughs> which, <laughs> which people are going to pray on his downfall <laughs> because he's yeah. He's, yeah, that's a. Li- I don't want. Yeah, I'm going to pray on his. Downfall. Oh, I. Had right. That's <laughs> what he's going that to is, I had no idea. Can't he have that. Like up. He that's not what <laughs> <laughs> TJ. What you mean he bossed up? He got hot Look. as hell. Goodness. That's not what he looked like last season. He was white boy of the year last year. Why he bossed up? Also, isn't he black as well? Like, isn't it? Well, all people? NFL quarterbacks are black. Okay. But I think black people Down. claim... Not that. Zach Wilson. Not Zach no, Wilson. Not, not Mac Jones either. No. <laughs> Mac Jones is the least black man alive. He uh, might be. Yeah. He's in the convo. You're crying on the field. But, but have you seen the picture of, or the video of Zach Wilson with like a bunch of other first round picks and he like fades into the background like Homer Simpson? No. TJ, is it possible to find that? Because I think that he might be the top... Or yeah, top least black. That's not what Joe Burrow looked like last time I saw him. No, he's changed. He's bossing. Did, have you heard, you heard Harry? He's bossing up. Why did he get that dumbass haircut? Because he's gonna, bossing They're gonna up. go fucking zero and seventeen this year. <laughs> Look at this. They start throwing signs, and he's. I gotta go. <laughs> he looks thirteen. <laughs> How old? He's oh like younger. God. He looks younger than me. Yeah, exactly. oh. You guys are probably like the same age. Whether he looks at them is. The, <laughs> the, yeah. What are these like fellas bad doing? Acting. Gang sign, can I throw up? How old is he? Like 23, 24, probably. Jesus. Now he's already out of a starting job. Yeah. 24. 24 well. 99. Yeah, I don't see him winning on The Bachelor. I think he, I, could, I see him being possessive. Definitely. Though he did mm. fuck one of his mom's friends. True. Yeah, I don't know if really that was been confirmed. That was maybe I think a he, report. I think he kind of ran with that. Or yeah, his his agents were probably like Dude, you yeah. have to make a story about him. You know who's low key handsome is Jalen Hurts. Oh, maybe not key. low key. Yeah, maybe high, high key. key. Yeah, I think he's just handsome. You also you also went from Wentz, who is a jump scare of a man. <laughs> <laughs> right, that kind of disproves all your quarterback. Yeah. But that's probably why he was, he was Division North One Dakota. Double yeah, A. Yeah. Only place he could get a job. No division one place would offer him. He has like the perfect physical talents for it, and then they like scan up to his face. <laughs> Poor guy. North Dakota. That's uh, that's probably the ugliest state. <laughs> uh, is it though? I don't think there's. I don't. Well, then what would you say is? Um, I don't think they mind. That's like they wouldn't be offended by that. Like Ohio, West Virginia, Mississippi's fat, but North Dakota residents destroy villages. Yeah. <laughs> They're like lumpy. Yeah. What's what's uglier, Sass? I'm trying to think. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of places I've been. What was like Huntsville like? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. I'll, yeah, I mean, no I'll, lookers in Huntsville. Of course, Mississippi is in the running. I'll yeah, think. West Virginia is probably the ugliest. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. No. <laughs> right. No, it is. 
No. People think the incest shit is a joke. It's pretty rampant. <laughs> like south of Clarksburg. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. pretty rampant still. No, there's hotties in West Virginia. Uh, yeah. I'm just um, thinking about the girl. Sean, Sean Payton left his wife for Miss West Virginia when he was when they were having Miss training Miss West camp. Virginia? Yeah. Wait, when they were having training camp? What do you when mean? When they were training camp in the Greenbrier. The Saints had training camp, camp in West Virginia. He left his wife for Miss West Virginia. He did? I think he's married to her now. The Broncos might go 0-17 this year. They he's have real-time bad vibes on that team. Yeah. The b- vibes are terrible. <laughs> Russell Wilson was like playing into the second quarter of the preseason game, throwing ducks, too. They might fucking suck. He's handsome, too. Wilson? Yeah, I guess he scoops Sierra. Is Sierra still making music? I think I Probably. saw Probably. I think folks don't she stop making music. Edge. I think that they're just like waiting for a time or someone to put it out. Is Lloyd still making music? Lloyd Banks? Yeah. He's got to be. If, you, if you're if you a spitter, you're a spitter. You don't stop being a spitter. Yeah, that's true. Like a Marine. <laughs> Yeah, he's always a Marine. Wrong. He's not a retired spitter. No. He's a current spitter. He's a, he'll be a spitter till he dies. There's no such thing as a retired spitter? I don't know. I think they literally just die. I think spitters die. You die a spitter. I saw LL Cool J just drop some... He freestyled well. <laughs> <laughs> For sway. LL, LL you, did a, you did great, <laughs> LL. Yeah. What were you going to say? I, don't know. I was going to try something drop cool. some bars? Yeah. <laughs> I love LL Cool J. <laughs> That's what Zach Wilson was talking to those guys about. He's like, "You guys see LL freestyled well?" <laughs> <laughs> they throw gang signs. Oh man, <clears throat> we have good chemistry, boys. No. Oh yeah. Thanks. <coughs> <laughs> the fuck? Did so I th- did I ever thank you for feeding little Piper? Yeah, you did. He was so appreciative. I you know. thanked yeah, him. Told me. You did thank him. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good. She time. has been amazing since I returned. Like, oh yeah, super cuddly. What happened? You were looking no at little Piper when you when he was she, away. He was away. When I returned, she's been better than ever. It's almost too good to be true. Little tiny Piper. Well, she probably misses her uncle. A little she misses Uncle Harry. A- yeah, Aunt Harry. Aunt Harry. <laughs> no, no, no. What was Aunt Harry? What were you guys doing together? You, you were scratching her up. like a dog. Yeah, we just posted up for a little bit. That's what on the sat on the beanbag chair. Uh, that's probably what it was. But uh. Yeah, we had some uh, we had some fancy feast. <laughs> you said you had one, three for Piper, <laughs> one, one for, for me, Harry. three for Piper. <laughs> <laughs> that shit smelled so bad. Oh, dude, when I came home, the litter box was full. <laughs> of shit. Dude, it was so. I don't really know. I, I feel like mixing though, because you told me three cans doesn't matter what cans. Wait, you mix three You're different. Mixing cans. the pate with the gravy. She <laughs> loves the gravy. She dude. can't get enough of the gravy. <laughs> hates the pate. Yeah. <laughs> so did she eat it all? She went. Yeah. She was going to Munchtown straight away. Mm. Yeah, she's an eater. Did the adding the pate, did adding the gravy to the pate, make her eat the pate, or did she? I don't just know eat what he gravy? did. I don't know what combo you. I used. don't really know what combo I did either. She was getting. She was pretty antsy though. As soon as I dropped that first can, she went to eat, and I was like, "Well, dinner's not fully served yet, so why don't you yeah. fucking relax? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, chill. Have some manners one yeah. time." But she probably thrives in that discipline. The totally dish wasn't complete. <laughs> How much did you pay him? Nothing. You just thanked it him. It was a trade-off from when I stayed <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I see yeah. what you're doing, and I've picked up on that, too. <laughs> that Kyle says thank? Thanked. It, am I saying it wrong? Yeah. No, thanked. I don't think you are. You're pronouncing it how it's Yeah, I guess you're saying pronounced. it correctly, and we're saying it wrong. What do you say? Thank. <laughs> thank. This is soft. You're saying thank. Thank? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I like that, I though. like it. It's It's so you. Thank. Let my people thank. go. <laughs> it's like van with a K at the end. I know. There's thank. a few words I can't say. No, I think you're... Vegas bagel. Mitty says Vegas the same way it. as you. Vegas bagel. Yeah, that, no, I think you're saying it right. Ben. Was this week is flying by. I know, it's sad. Totally. Dude, I have the distinct privilege of flying to Los Angeles tomorrow. Yeah, that sucks. In the so morning, much. and then flying out of Los Angeles tomorrow at night. Well, you flew out to LA last week, right, for an interview? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys land? The boss lady. Oh. <laughs> was she there? <laughs> oh wait, that's who it was. <laughs> no, she's actually in the office. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you flew to LA to have Erica on. <laughs> Via Zoom. Wait, really? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, that's what you did? 
That's nuts. Did Rowan tell you guys about how he shit in his pants? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He talked about oh, it on Son of a Boy. Oh, okay. Are, are we flaming you too much, man? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, shit's been going oh, bad. Wow, dude. <laughs> dude, you flew out. You didn't tell me that. Flew out, uh, flew out to LA to have Erica on and then came back in explosive diarrhea in your pants. Oh, That's an all time bad. All in a day's beat. work, baby. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, our, we had other like we had other guests that it, it all fell through. It's a fickle business, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I and I also did shit my pants. How did you, how what did you eat? Um, air, lysine, air lysine, and airplane food and Delta Lounge food, and you then were had a, on a plane in the airport where I was flying back from Oakland. On the plane? No, we should have pants. And my elevator as I got to my building. Oh, after. oh. so much better. Yeah, but that's after, almost not shitting your pants. Was your it, wife home? Did you have to walk in with like the... No. Okay. But she got home while I was still like moaning on the toilet. <laughs> and I was like... And I like said it to her. I was like, I like, oh, I like shit my pants. Like thinking it'd be like maybe like kind of like funny or like endearing. Like I was in massive pain, but like I was like... I thought that there it could be like kind of like we could laugh about it, and it, she was disgusted. Did you throw away the trousers? Yeah. Mm. Down the garbage chute. Mm, you gotta just throw those out the window. Yeah, that's so, what, that's where it has to go. Can't even be in the building. Let someone outside take care of that. <laughs> no, I put them in right on top of the garbage bag and threw that. And uh, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Uh, it was hell. Yeah. It was caked underneath like the oh, pieces caked. of my ass she- ass cheeks. Yeah. You ever get shit on your finger when you're wiping accidentally, and it, it'll put you in a state of disarray as soon as you see it? Yeah, you panic really badly. <laughs> well, you panic like, oh, badly. It's like a crazy panic. You panic badly. You don't, don't panic yeah. at all. No, it's jarring to see. No, it's something about it. Just it I feel breaks. like that's, it ain't right. That happens. It ain't natural. Often, and I always forget what to do. You just have to clean it off with toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. But then you got to wash yeah, over and over and over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you're scrubbing the skin off. You're scrubbing until you bleed. That's. I wonder what our brothers on this show who have, none of them are here right now, but brothers and sisters on the show who have children, like obviously they're dealing with their children's shit all the time. Does that make them immune to their own shit? No, I feel like kid poop's say. not as gross as adult poop. Well, I think it's grosser, isn't it? Really? I think anyone else's shit is grosser than your What own. if it's, it's your Oh, seed. I hate my own shit. I mean, their shit came out of your dick. Like It's like literally your seed. Yeah, true. It's yeah, your shit. In a way. Yeah, I guess you're right. Half of it. Kind of reached with that one. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> of a reach, but it's your seed. It's not exactly someone else. It's like part you. Are you more or less? Would you rather pick up your own shit off the ground or a dog shit? Dogs. Dogs. I've picked up dog shit so many times. Why though? Why? Why are we conditioned that way? Because I just had to. My mom made. No, me. no. But why are we more grossed out by our own? Because the dog shit, it sits outside and then it loses that stench after a while, and then it's you're pretty much just picking up logs. What if it was inside? But sometimes you'll get a bad one. Yeah, and you'll be like, oh, <laughs> that's, be exactly, bagging. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm like. Yeah, that's a rough time. <laughs> the yeah. dog has a bad one, or if it's like a really hot summer day, that's a bad one. Have you ever seen somebody walking their dog in New York trying to pick up like? Dog Great. diarrhea with off the, the grates. No, no, like, no that's yeah, crazy. Just off the grates is I crazy. Uh, giving them a pass. I was like, you're good. let it go. You're good. Yeah. yeah, someone will step in that slip and crack their head open and sue the city. You're good. I walked I, when I was in Denver uh, a couple years ago. I walked my friend's Saint Bernard dog. That, those ha- those have monster poop, dude. It was the size of a football. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was the biggest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. What's it like? What was your reaction when you saw it? I was just like, this is fucking crazy there's something deeply disturbing about poops that get that are like tapered on the ends and very wide in the middle oh yeah because mm-hmm. you just really yeah. think about the your innards the, the mold of your time. innards the, so the really disturbing one is when you get one that does not disconnect at any point and it's like three feet long yeah i don't like the length and you're like that was what was that going all the way up into my fucking that uh, was a little gay of me yeah caleb would yeah if there was a time after he got his stomach surgery that he was sending like it, it, it just completely unchained melodies, dude. It was fucking... <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, dude. It was all just... Man. People people got interesting bowels. And I didn't realize how regular mine were until I shit myself. But yeah, I get to, I get to relive that experience and fly out to LA tomorrow for some more interviews. You flying D1? I better be. 
No, I don't know. I don't think so. But uh, I, I, uh, I am very close to. I'm gonna get like platinum, like fucking this yeah. week, bro. I'm on that ass. I'm getting. I'm inching towards gold. <laughs> really? Yeah. How? I guess Alaska and back will do it. Fuck. Sass, you're never gonna. Get <laughs> I fly all the time, and yeah. I'm still not I at. Did, I did Alaska and back, and then London and back. Oh yeah. Are you that not getting sense. your points? You might not. You're just probably not getting your points. Oh, I'm. I'm one. I'm pretty much one flight away from silver. Oh, you're good then. I, 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 how hard is it to get? Once you get silver, is that the hardest one to get? Like how? I don't know. How long does it take to get to gold? I don't really it's check it too often. It's the easiest one to get. It's the first level. <laughs> so there's no way I'm gonna get platinum. Uh, platinum is. It'll, it'll take years. How did you get platinum? I don't understand how you. Platinum. never on the ground. I know, but I feel like I fly every week. Some pilots aren't. Platinum. Rome's been doing this for <laughs> like uh, two decades. But I thought I thought it only mattered the year that it's in right now. I don't know. I think, you, don't you I think I'm on like I'm I'm on like a hyper. I'm on an ultralight beam right now. That's crazy. I'm in a god dream right now. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's uh it's a ton. But so I'm flying back uh, tomorrow night to Detroit overnight. Okay. And then in the morning flying to Pittsburgh for rough and rowdy. Then I'm taking the drive to Wheeling for rough and rowdy. Uh, which it feels be, like you should just go straight to rough and rowdy. I can't get to. There's no flights from Los Angeles to Pittsburgh on Delta Direct. I need to, I need my Delta points. I don't think that are there any flights from Pittsburgh to LA. Mm. There probably are somewhere. No, I think there's one that lays over in Dallas. It's always. Why don't you just land in Philly and fly to Pittsburgh? It's like the same thing as fly, landing in Detroit and flying to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, but it's worth it for rough and rowdy. This rough and rowdy is going to be the yeah. one. I feel like this is going to be a, an historic rough I'm and rowdy. Ex- yesterday got me pumped up for just one match, and that's just one match. Yeah, let's. Can we add another bet today? Do we have any additional information on these fighters? We do. I, I missed the show yesterday. What happened? We have our own fight that we're betting on. We have a yak fight. Oh, okay. We chose the two funniest names. Well, I, honestly, we only got through six names, and yeah, there right. can't yeah. be funnier names than this. We got through the five main events, and then this was the sixth fight on the card that we saw, and really didn't have to dig any farther. Dude's name is the Popular. Das, I don't think you're listening. I, I would bet no. I, sorry, this, this dude's name is. Figure, oh, by the way, Out of Order comes out tonight. I was trying to figure something out about that. Out of Order, seven be o'clock. Great. That's, it, I just yeah. watched it. It's hilarious. But can I reiterate? This dude's name is the popular. The popular. Yeah, that's a good ass name. What does that mean? It means he's the popular. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Yeah, I guess so. context clues here, guys. Popular is. A, I like Wheels of Death though. I think that's that's clear the team winner. you're on. You're on Team Wheels of Death with Oh, me. good, because he's going to win. Right? Or do you have sass? I forget. Popular is an adjective. 5'10", or 5... Yeah, 5'10", 210 is whew, meaty. Meaty. It's so for Wheels of Death, it's myself, Che, Nick, and sass. All right. That's our team, sass. Fuck yeah. Oh, and he's Winners 33? eat steak off the loser's body. Winner eats steak off the loser's body. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Worse for the winner. Yeah, yeah, by far. Yeah, I don't want to eat steak off of one of your bodies. Right, it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so we, it's a lose lose. We, lose. Fuck, we fucked. It I don't want to get steak eaten. Well, I mean, one of the either. people could be Kyle though. Yeah, yeah steak off God. Kyle's body would be kind of a sweaty. That would be, be easy treat. as hell. Yeah. Would you sweat on purpose just to make it harder on them? No, I can, can't control it. It's just bad. unleash some sweat on them just to make it slick. But we have more information, I think, on the popular. Yes. Okay. Um. So wheels of death. He's from Ohio, right on the border of West Virginia. He's a truck driver. He likes doing MMA. And then the popular is from Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. He's a cement mixer, and his training is unknown. And oh, we have a whoa. video from them also. Okay. I feel like if you're mixing cement, you don't really need any training. Rough and Rowdy, this is Joe Wheeler. Joe Wheeler, August 18th. You get the opportunity Wheeler. of a lifetime to step in the ring with the popular Tommy Penlin. Coming for Tommy the Penguin. Penguin. Whatever it is, it's not that important. What? I don't. I think the popular may have lied about his weight. Look how tiny he is. Sending the land to slaughter here. Is that the popular? That's the popular. Man, he's gonna get them all. August 18th, Wheeling, West Virginia. See you then. And I'm gonna give you a Pittsburgh sponsored ass whooping coming straight out of the 412. He's, he's swaggy. Those guys have he had like charisma, the wazzers. <laughs> yeah, he had, yeah uh, that was electric. He had Fezco swag. R.I.P. He did look like him. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, but they were speaking like Microsoft Sam, dude. 
<laughs> you think it's hard for some of these guys to get into like the like the anger aspect of a fight? Like they probably have those guys are always pissed off. You think? Yeah, it's a it's like no, a they are they are extraordinarily nervous and wish there was mutual respect between the two. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Well, it used to be Chris the Smith. Is they're not talking to each other, so like. Oh yeah, that like, is tough. Yeah. It used to be Chris Smith being like, "Then don't you think he's a big." Pussy. Yeah. Don't you think he's a little bitch? Why don't you say he's a little bitch? Like, yeah, he's a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Scared ass voice. Um, coward fights would be an incredible brand. We sh- bro, we should have a coward fight. Get Devlin on the line. Devlin, we need two cowards. Coward is hilarious. Fucking coward. <laughs> Robert Ford fighting. The, the Robert <laughs> Ford belt. <laughs> Fucking coward. They used to throw around that word coward and it used to mean something. Now we're all cowards. It's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, we are. Are, y'all, are you guys killing a cockroach just like that? No problem? Not just like that. Not like no fear in your heart? You just like walk up to a cockroach like that? You don't even like... There's, <laughs> there's plenty of fear. I don't want it to move. The sound, the, everything the, about The killing. contents of it. it there's yeah. too much innards. How about you? Oh, I just gassed mine. It's some raid yeah. raid yeah i guess that's the best way to do it but that is a raid, coward's raid way to do is it anyway to prevent cockroaches it just doesn't work though and if you spray raid directly on a cockroach they gotta die instantly oh yeah that's a coward's but i mean that is it's not that's not the bravest way to kill a cockroach what's the bravest way to kill a cockroach you light fucking it on fire stop, yeah no you team. fucking use your hand to kill it yeah just your hand like a, or like a, your a tissue and you squish it to death. I, bra- oh, I break the know. neck. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> He's gonna get some raid. <laughs> Going like Arnold Schwarzenegger behind it and just fucking crack its neck. <laughs> that would work behind him. As a wrestling guy, do you think that could work if you fucking? You know how like Arnold Schwarzenegger in movies would just like kill people by like snapping their neck. That works. Would you do that? Could a man be strong I enough to just I do would, that? I don't know that territory of chokes. So what's do we have? We have a problem. Oh, just grabbing a just grabbing the charger. Grabbing the charge. All right, say less. I thought there was an audio problem. That would have been a bummer. Um, but you have to buy this rough and rowdy fight. I kind of want to find another. I want. I want to find another fight to care about and root for because that was. Yeah, we didn't even get through I the th- whole lineup. I feel like I have a bandwidth to care a little bit more about fights, like or just to pick one to to be really emotionally invested I'll in. Fucking, I'll probably know one of these other fighters. You think so? Yeah, you know, at least a wrestler know. from the Ohio Valley. There's got to be one. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, you might have the, uh, the cards, Kyle? Uh, TJ. Teach. Young Teach. As you do that, I can talk. Oh, here we go. Right, have any of these fighters bossed up in the last year? Maybe, Maybe Machete. Machete. Maybe Machete looks like she has. A lot Broadway. of the, these guys are new, but I think Diamond Hands is the biggest boss up on this card. Okay. If you ask me. He's a like a hockey fighter. There's some like hockey brawling league where they fight on ice, and then he came and started fighting on land. And he's Whoa, been, he's been pretty good. Got to be easier to fight on land. Pretty boy, can we zoom in on Pretty Boy? I get this towns right out. And then there's Butter Beach, <laughs> B- Barnesville. That's where the Pumpkin Festival is. Yeah, they have some stud wrestlers. I don't know him though. And then Cameron. Cameron, Cameron West Virginia, another tiny, tiny town tucked away in Marshall County with a vast history of very good wrestling. This is one I don't know. The, they don't have the names up, though. This is one of the more ironic, uh, both like Butterbean you think of as a fat guy. Yeah. And pretty Boy you think of as a hot guy. Yeah. kind of did Pretty Boy with, uh, they did him dirty on that Photoshop. Like the outline of him. That's, pr- that's hot in Cameron. <laughs> that's, the, that's the prom king. The you, oh, you think king. he actually is pretty boy in Cameron? Definitely. Absolutely. Like I've, uh, yeah. There's four last names in Cameron. <laughs> One of them's boy. All right, the prophet against Turbo. Against Turbo. Oh shit! Prophet's an old prophet. thirty-four. <laughs> <laughs> prophet looks yeah, fucking, uh, yeah. He looks decades older. He looks than like Turbo. an actual <laughs> prophet. <laughs> A biblical pro. Yes, that's like the Moses headband. Yeah, Turbo is going to get his ass destroyed. By the prophet? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's Zach Wilson. Dude, the prophet has probably been beating the shit out of he, every day. Every day He's for the last 34 years. <laughs> he lied about his age. He definitely did. He yeah, probably yeah. can't feel pain. Crusher versus the killer. 
from uh, what? Wait, go back. What are the uh, towns that they're from? Mine. Or- Mineral Wells is a Mineral Wells. another Parkersburg South School District. One of the best wrestling areas in the Ohio Valley in the in West Virginia. Can we go back to that real quick? I just want to see. And then Ports, or Portsmouth. What, Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Yeah, it's way down south. I don't know that. I've been there once. Five nine two zero eight. It's steel. The killer. <laughs> and the Wait, rusher. Five nine. Huh. She does not look two zero eight. Five nine two zero eight. She's probably mastered the. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Was, I don't think she's two zero eight. Where is that weight? <laughs> <laughs> she was have, have a, a club massive foot? ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a big juicy ass. Everything south of that has to be elephant. <laughs> 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 we have a video for her. That's an that. upper body of like a 120 pound. <laughs> yeah, where is the fucking uh, other 100? She's 5'9", though. That's, I don't know, still, though. That is 208. Yeah. She did not look 208. No, that, something has to happen at where they cropped <laughs> that photo. I mean, it's the, some women ass. are masters of the pose, though. Maybe legs. Maybe she's got some big quads. All right, boys. She might see this. You're saying this. You're I know, and I this. regret it, and I take it back. I right. can't take it. What back. the fuck? Yeah, I, take it. I, take I just it back take too. it back. I take it back too. <laughs> just take it back. No take backs. No take backs. I take it back. No take backs. You said fucked up shit, man. I was saying that she probably has a big ass. That's fucked up. I was that fucked up? No, that's that's desirable. I'm tired of magazines saying fat butts are the thing. Go. Uh, all right. So let's, let's keep on looking through. This is. I'm enjoying myself. White. St- Healthcare hero from King of Prussia, Pennsylvania versus I mean, White KOP Steel. He is a hotbed of wrestling. Where's um, White Steel from? I don't have White Steel listed. It's like 125. <laughs> 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 is he just like sitting in the Woods Field? Is he like sitting oh, in his that's, truck? Uh, that's uh, Monroe County. That, or Monroe? Monroe Wait, there's yeah, no fucking uh, way that that dude's 298. Don't have oh, that. What the fuck is this? Well, he's six <laughs> four, he has to have the biggest not, cock in the world. He's not 300 pounds. That's not the body of a 300 pound man. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't. I kind of disagree. <laughs> Look at that. Look he looks so wide. 300 it is. pounds. His neck, though, he does. T- he has a slim man's neck. Something. Yeah, his, his neck is tiny. The same no neck. way that he's 300 pounds. I mean, why? Why not? He's probably just—he's probably like moves like an offensive lineman. White he steel looks ten like he more pounds than white steel. Hell no! Look at white steel. He couldn't even stand up for the photo. <laughs> you think he weighs ten less? He's sitting like he was getting his portrait painted. I don't want to stand. That's crazy. Can we see full body of these guys? I don't have any. Okay, 50 Cal from Bethesda, Ohio, versus Hands of Stone from Mineral Wells, West Virginia. Again, Mineral Wells. These are light boys. Some warriors. Bethesda's union local now. No. So you're taking Hands of Stone here? Absolutely. 50 Cal is a strong gun. I like that name. I do too. God's work. <laughs> Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn. God's wait, didn't Brooklyn, wait, Brooklyn just have already? Name? Wait, Brooklyn was baby machete. Yeah. <laughs> wait, yeah, she's too. No, she's, she's like double mid- entry. Holy. Are we getting she's duped right she, now? Is someone wait. fucking with us? She, is this a, <laughs> wait, they both got different names. She's fighting twice. Broadway. Get, they both are the same person. God's no. They must have fucked this up. Oh, they must have fucked up uh, the photos. I hope they're fighting twice. Which ones? Yeah. Which ones? Which? I like God's work and uh, Brooklyn as as names a little bit better for both of these work. Yeah, that's, I mean, those are good names. Let's check the card. Where are they from? Where are they from? Brooklyn, I'd imagine, is from New York. <laughs> but I could be that? wrong. Oh, so wait. I guess this is the real baby machete in Broadway, Gabriella. Okay, so that's. Pretty girl. Shit happened to me. If you don't know me, I go by the name of Baby Machete. Listen, your name is dumb as hell. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Stupid. I've had so much fucked up shit happen to me. <laughs> yeah, you years. did. I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I certainly that. did, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I'm not. I'm comfortable looking at this. Like someone called Cherry Bomb. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I looked at your Facebook and your TikTok. I don't have to talk any trash. I've seen enough. I'm good. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I would not step in the ring with her. <laughs> with Baby Machete? No. Yeah. I'm Baby Machete. Good God. <laughs> that was dope. Is she going to be painted up for the... I don't know. I don't know. It feels like that's got to be illegal. She's definitely coming out to Daisy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> In like a dress. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's something. Um, She's going to get her ass kicked. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Baby Machete? Uh, yeah. Brooklyn? <laughs> Brooklyn wasn't even there for the shit talk. No. Baby um, Machete's horrifying. He, this, that's why they fucked up. They couldn't. They were just like, I don't want to work on this graphic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should we bet on that fight? Baby Machete? Versus who was she fighting? Brooklyn. No, I thought Brooklyn was fighting God's work. So Baby Machete's the fighting. Second, they both have two. Oh, Broadway, Broadway Gabriella. Gabriella. Oh, we should get Brooklyn against Broadway Gabriella. A little Maybe Machete, subway series. Just, maybe Machete should just be fighting herself in the ring. <laughs> fighting her demons. Her demons. Yeah. She has to sit there in silence. <laughs> it's just like the, uh, twitching. <laughs> <laughs> She's tab- she would tap out in two seconds. Yeah, she would nice. lose. The lights all go out in the arena. And she's just like standing on top of the jumbo truck. <laughs> oh my god! The lights turn off. Dave's gone. Yeah, Rowan's going to go she's interview. And she's going to bite out your Adam's apple. <laughs> just like floats out of the arena. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Can you do the demon voice? Thank you for having me. <laughs> Wheeling, you've been amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so should we bet on that yeah, one? Yeah, we definitely Yeah. Should. What's the bet? Like, do some people have to be on one side, or can we all be on... <laughs> I don't know if I want to be on her side, but I'm if I'm against her, side. she's going to... She's going to damn us. She's going to get... Hellfire. I think she's going to get wrecked. Yeah, those, yeah, those types of girls do. <laughs> but you're a, but you're you've met a couple, a lot of girls like that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, on Tumblr, a ton. <laughs> oh man, and Baby Machete. Those girls, and where where was she from? West Virginia. That yeah, that will play. It a means fact. More she was from the River you're... Sticks, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> She's just from Darien, Connecticut. The River Stick. That's Hannibal. Uh, Devlin. Devlin, we, what the yeah. hell's up with? What the fuck? What the fuck is up with yeah. Baby Machete? First off, Devlin, why do you look, look like? Oh, you, you look incredible. <laughs> you look hey, incredible, word. dude. He about. Yeah, he's about the. Had a clean shave there too. Clean yeah, shave, lined up. Shoulders, pecs. Like Somebody learned to love themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All thanks to Doctor Nick Fuck. <laughs> Doctor Nick. This work. Oh hey. Um, what the hell is up with Baby Machete? He can't stop watching. Baby Machete, Cherry Bomb's niece. She's been. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so she's got the pedigree. Uh, she has been a ring girl before. Oh, okay. And she's just a country girl from West Virginia. By ring girl, do you mean from the film? <laughs> <laughs> She's freaking us out, man. Yeah. West Vir- for West Virginia, that's not that crazy. Yeah, but I think that that oh, kind no, of girl, it means a little more when she's from West Virginia and she acts like that. Like, if a girl is from a big city acting like that or the suburbs, she's rebelling against her parents. Like, this girl is like... Uh, she's just doing it for fun. Cherry Bomb's niece and... Hades, uh, like Hades, her <laughs> uncle. Like it's bad news, bro. Yeah, yeah she's and the girl horrifying. she's fighting is like a pure city girl. Yeah, like we got a Tennessee, West Virginia. This girl goes out on Broadway and drinks martinis. Oh, this but girl is Broadway. from New York. No, no, Tennessee Broadway. Tennessee, oh, Broadway. Nashville, yeah, yeah, yeah. Broadway. Asheville. Okay, yeah. the other so, Broadway. Yeah, and this is the thing of rough and rowdy. You really, when you start putting the pieces together. You like to arrange it like city versus country, but sometimes themes just emerge. Like I don't even know what to classify baby machete as it's a it's a it mel- new rough and rowdy's a melting pot yes yeah. same with your matchup we got wheels of death mma fan slash truck driver versus concrete mixer yeah we got, a, we got 300 popular. pound guys he's an mma fan oh that's what he is. i think he also oh. <laughs> loves do mma okay that's how much of a fan he, which most of the time this is the thing rough and rowdy Records wise, we get a lot of people that say I'm undefeated in street fights. I'm 50 and 0, 20 and yeah. 0. That guy actually does have an MMA record, but you oh. never know. Like, what does this guy just yeah. wear affliction shirts? There's a lot of like fake events yeah. about that life. And I would say, on the flip side, the popular, he looks like he's about to get his neck broken, but he might do shit that we don't even know about. He might have a gun. <laughs> you got to work to that. I, I haven't been able to get blind people, legless people. We get to weapons. Oh my god, blind people going at it, raising calf. Yeah, we could just get like a traditional duel. That would be awesome. Nick wants to do a coward's Shoot fight. I want to get two huge cowards <laughs> and do like a yeah, coward fight. Like one, so one punch, first one to punch. I don't. Need, I, I don't want either of them to show. They have to have like an extreme phobia, and you have to offer them an amount they can't refuse for their like own well-being. Did you guys see that wrestling match of the two invisible guys? 
Invisible Man versus Invisible Stan. Yeah, did you see that fight? Of course, that I've was seen a good that. ass fight. They, they went off the top like through the stand. Yeah, they went. They put their bodies on the fucking it's one line. Of the best matches ever. Yeah, I have had to want. I, I've wanted to add sideshows, and I don't know if the commission would let us. Like Smitty and Trent have always talked about Oklahoma drills against each other. Oh my god! Like I'm yeah. like in between rounds. Let's get a cackling dummy and get them in there. Like so, any look, any ideas on the table for rough and rowdy? I think Whether we stop at Oklahoma. Drills like that's incredible. Yeah, now, there are five round fights this time. Five round main events for the first time. So there's going to be some people are going to get fucked up. We've asked that forever, and and I think the three that we have are good because most fighters they're gassed within the first twenty seconds of our matchup. So yeah. that, that next two and a half, if you survive the first thirty seconds, you're probably good. Right. These guys in the five rounds, they are like born to fuck, born to fight. Damn, that's going to be that's, so yeah, that's fucking idea. incredible. I'm pumped. Damn. So what's our what's our, we're, so we're gonna we're gonna devise a bet for our girl. Uh, oh, you're adding her to the mix. Yeah, yeah we we're gonna a take, bet for her. Okay, what's we're her? we're betting against her, right? What's uh, her name? Baby Machete. Baby, Baby Machete, Machete versus Machete Broadway versus Gabriella. Broadway, Broadway Gabriella. And what's the uh, is Broadway Gabriella is obviously like would be the favorite you think in this? In in that matchup. Or do you think it's Baby Machete? I think you got to give it to the pedigree. <laughs> yeah. Baby Machete, because it's like similar to Cherry Bomb when we had her versus Vicky D or Hot Wheels, same city versus country vibe. Cherry Bomb works on like a cow farm, and she's like getting That's dirty true. every morning, pushing tractors, doing crazy shit, whereas the other people, what, you know, they're foo-foo, getting Starbucks. It's now, just a different is she life. with Cherry Bomb in the same town, training with her? She was. Cherry Bomb was going to come work her corner. And originally, Cherry Bomb was going to fight Hot Wheels for five rounds. Cherry Bomb had some some family illness or something that basically she couldn't dedicate to train because she still is the middleweight champion. So someday, and now she's never fought outside of West Virginia. So, you know, next, next show, we're talking about going to maybe South Carolina. <sighs> Um, Charleston, <laughs> Rock Hill. I've heard like Saudi we're trying Arabia. to expand. Charleston, would actually, be my if anyone has so ideas, hard. we want to. I think Tampa would be a prime spot. Oh, Georgia, yeah. state to state, the regulations. We basically need no headgear, sixteen ounce gloves. Some places, you know, only do bare knuckle or that type of shit. But I want to bring this to the Stoolies more. We we're going to do Providence in December. The Providence Bruins kind of fucked us with their schedule. We'll probably go Providence mm-hmm. in the spring, but I want to make this more of a thing that like barstool fans can go to yeah just. and this is a good event for people who like want to support barstool they can like buy in like Especially now barstool is kind of like so it's on youtube right on you YouTube can rent it on the first YouTube? time we're That's still huge. we're just waiting to send that link live but we're going to push that everywhere we've never been on that before so uh mobile desktop tv yeah it's just there's ways you can watch that that you can't do on buy r and r um so it's just it's just more options we're going to give away title belts for whoever's in the chat um i think i'm going to try to get frank to be in the chat ringside as Your well chat will be a great addition. interact with yeah. him yes um, that'll be fire it'll be a super exciting test i mean this is rough rowdy 22 i don't know how far it will go but we're you know i'm trying to evolve and add something to it each time that's mm-hmm. different, you know, and interesting. And, and yeah, let's ramp this shit the fuck up, dude. I want to see Baby Machete coming out and like fucking doing a death scream as bats fly out of her mouth or some shit like that. Yeah, I got to get bats. Yeah, I've always wanted some John Woo slow motion doves. I'm working on that's those. fire. That's those are fire. Hard to get in West she could Virginia. definitely produce the bats. She could eat worms like Boogeyman did. Oh, or if you just burned her at the stake, she might turn into a fleet of bats. Like it's that's yeah to, some to dark escape. Shit. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, a day when Rough and Rowdy gets pyrotechnics is maybe my last day as like commissioner of it, but that that's one of my goals I want. Oh, gotta go out with a ball of flames. Yeah, so yeah, we gotta figure Station. out what the, what the bet is. What what kind of bet we could do for this for this match and how to divvy it up because it seems like everybody wants to go against Baby Machete. I'm on Baby Machete's side. Okay. That's because you're scared. I'm a man of God. I can't have <laughs> <a> win. <laughs> we gotta do an exorcism mid round. Um, so yeah, so it's just me rooting for Baby Machete against all you guys then? No, I'm flipping. Uh, hot, what's her name? Cherry Bomb is a fantastic fighter. Yes, she's strong. If she has the same genetics as Cherry Bomb, Cherry Bomb has uh, bigger quads than you, to be honest with you. She's incredible. Yeah, she and is. if they even spent an hour together, then I think she has the upper hand. Yeah, if you gain one piece of knowledge in a rough and rowdy fight, I think that's what we've seen is we're trying to get more some more trained people or... People that have some skill, but like it's not boxing. It you is. You guys want to do a ball. mustard sandwich bet? Oh, I had a mustard sandwich every day from kindergarten to eighth grade. <laughs> so yeah, so if you win, you get to have a mustard sandwich. Yeah. And if we lose, we have to have a mustard sandwich. Sure. 
I would gladly have a mustard sandwich. Yeah, it sounds really you fun. You get like yeah, pinto rond. <laughs> yeah. That mu- like you have one piece of bread, but the rest of you is mustard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, the visuals for social. Oh. You know? I'll go in on it with side. you if you want, Ron. I'll take baby machete with you. Yeah, mustard, mustard sandwich bet? Yeah. Say less. You, me, and Kyle versus these two. And uh, who do you want to assign the rest of the, the team to? Who what about a mustard and habanero sandwich? Ooh. That's heartburn. Go. That sounds nice, too. That sounds even yummier. I would for put me. that up. I'll on put that up. Baby machete, even though I'm not too confident. I'll what put about, that up what, on baby machete. What about we do a, a, a sandwich draft? We all bring an ingredient. And. Uh, uh, no, never mind. Lost it. <laughs> mustard sandwich, mustard sandwich with habaneros. Ta- accept, take it or leave it, or make a counter offer. That's yeah, I'm with it. Uh, That's what about bet. we buy one of those uh, popsicle things moms used to have for juice, and we make mustard popsicles? <laughs> you guys are sick fucks on this show. Huh? I think you real could, twisted. All right, but I'm fine. I'm just having the mustard sandwich with the habaneros on the side. Then fine. All right, a mustard mm-hmm. bet. Mustard popsicle bet. Right, I like it. Thank you for your service, boys. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm excited for yeah. it. Shout out special guest of honor, Ben Mintz. We'll be also Whoa. sitting ringside. Oh, fuck yeah. course. Yeah. We're getting all the people out for this one. Yeah, all the people who protested us when we went corporate, have to. they have to have come to. back now. Or they, we're, you I mean, owe us their, your money. why Dave renamed it Barstool Independence Day. Like, if, if this doesn't sell well, we're all dead. You probably could do the Independence Day speech, like, off the top. I actually did just have Quig's <laughs> deep fake Dave's face onto Bill Pullman for that, so it's very much in my head. What? Is it, how, did, how, yeah, how does it go? Will not go silently into the night. <laughs> not just America, but the world will declare this Independence Day. I'm byrnr.com. There we go. Very nice, Tablet. Thank you, boys. Appreciate natural. you looking strong, looking like you're ready to whip some ass. <laughs> <laughs> Lean, mean, sex machine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Evelyn, you got a good gig. I hope R and R continues to blossom. Dude, it'd be awesome to go to do it in Charleston. Have yeah. the cast of Southern Charm there. You would love that. Ba-ba-do. Yeah. Have you guys been mm-hmm. watching Real Housewives of New York? No. Uh, not as much as I'd like. Pause. Not as much as I'd like. Hey yo. What do you? What? What? Like? What keeps you coming back? Um, my the the fact my wife puts it on all the time. I went to Luann's yeah. cabaret and uh, nobody knew you there. So, but, but yeah, but that's the old cast of Housewives of New York. There's a new cast, brother. <laughs> I know a Tinsley guy when I see one. No, Tinsley's she was fucking kicked uh, off. I know much. a Tinsley guy. Oh fuck so you! <laughs> but I like it. I I don't yeah. like watching a show. Like if someone puts on a show, like I'll. Get invested and enjoy it. I'm not gonna be like for real, for real. Fuck this show. This shit is corny. Like I'm gonna be like, yeah. I'll buy into the storylines. It's so much better to enjoy the shit that you're watching than to be like, this shit sucks. Why are th- why is this even on? Watch something else then. I'm working on Jersey. Yeah, it's pretty Jersey. great. Yeah, I'm on season three. I believe three. I believe. Oh shit. Bro, yeah, Jersey's them. great. And Jersey just added two new, uh, two new women who are just gonna fucking. Keep that franchise going and going and going. That's is like Teresa still? Oh, Judice is going to be there forever, okay. bro. Yeah. Nah, she's she's box office. Yeah, queen of the Jews, dude. <laughs> Let my people go. Oh, way down, way down, <laughs> way down. <laughs> way down to Egypt land. <laughs> I think any of the guards ever got that stuck in their head? Totally, dude. Yeah. Such a catchy song. We <laughs> were listening to it in the shower this morning. <laughs> oh, what? A uh, phone. What was it on? Was it on Spotify? Spotify? What artist? Yeah, where it? did you find that? I mean, Louis Armstrong. Oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. He did, oh, he did a cover of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the yeah. original. Yeah. Go down Moses. Ah! <laughs> Way down to Egypt land. Oh man, is that is that a free usage at this point, or are we going to be paying <laughs> Louis Armstrong's fucking? Are we going to be paying fucking two Tunk and royalties on his fucking original hits? Mm. Old Moses, let my people go. Good ass tune. Is that a Hebrew song or a like a was a slave song? I guess. 
I guess. Well, what, yeah. What sleep Hebrew, Hebrew would be slaves. more throaty. But which one's uh? uh <laughs> yeah. Klet. Who wrote it? <laughs> Klet, my people go. Who? What religion has the most bops or the best bops? I think Ooh. it's Chris- Christian. Got to be Christian rock. Right. Uh Christian rock is good, but like the, the actual like hymnal songs. Well, they just they have eagles' wings and they eagles' take wings that, is like, great. So yeah. I wasn't talking about Christian. I was talking about uh, Black Church. Oh yeah! Gospel. Oh yeah! Yeah, Gospel that's music. the best. Yeah. yeah, that's just the best. But I don't. If I knew the words to some of the uh, Middle Eastern prayers, I think that I might enjoy some of them. We had a lengthy conversation about how beautiful that. I shit think is. there's one. It's either Muslim or Hindu, where it like it takes your brain to a state of nirvana. It's like a drug. If you hit nirvana, the right, sounds hear the Hindu? right notes. That sounds Hindu. Yeah, they're they're like. Uh, they would do like a lot of like melisma and yodeling, like an Indian dude singing. I think that's what it is. But the 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 Muslim, the Middle Eastern shit is a, a different type of delightful to hear. Oh, it's beautiful. It's crazy how it the beautiful. the young the the young Jewish children learn the Hebrew, learn the Hebrew words. They yeah, they learn it quick. I feel like they used to, and the Catholics used to have to learn some Latin to be able to keep up, but they just like threw that out the window just to try and keep their Yeah, base. isn't Latin a dead language now? It has yeah. been yes. for a while. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> As of like, That's why it was weird that they always they taught it. They taught it. <laughs> they taught it in school. You, you could take about Latin. Latin dying? <laughs> you could t- <laughs> well, why would, why would, why would they, all, I feel like it was, I always thought it was weird Latin. that they would offer a class. Latin dead, dead at 2000. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Jeff D. Lowe has the black and white graphic <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> right. You've been waiting for Latin to die out. Yeah, that's it is. I guess that it's the root of a lot of languages, so it can yeah. help you learn yeah, some English. shit. English. English and all the Romance languages. Spanish, French, Italian. And what's the last one? Portuguese? I don't, know. I don't fucking know. But our number systems that we use is from the Middle East, right? Probably. The ones and twos, yeah. On the ones and twos, that's pretty simple. That should be straightforward with everyone. Yeah, it's not though. Tally system is the most simple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about tally system. You always forget about the fucking tally system. I feel like writing five strokes is a little bit annoying. <laughs> well, how much is a five? Like counting it's all three the strokes, stro- right? Counting all the clusters of Tally? strokes. Tally? Stroke clusters. A five is three strokes if you write it in the numeric system. Down, curve, across. True. So you're saving two strokes. Eight's a little bit too fancy for me. You guys, did you guys ever do the snowball eight? Or were you guys always... No, that was... What's the snowball was eight? Was very, j- very chicken. Oh, no, that was for... Chicks, that, that was, dude. That was for, <laughs> what? I never did it. Bubble letters? I never did it. I know Sass had like the black paper with the gel pen. (laughs) (laughs) No, I never would have anything. You'd write your like girlfriend. You'd write your Harry and your girlfriend's last name. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) (laughs) He loves me. He loves me not. (laughs) That's what Sass was doing at recess. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Rose. I was causing fucking trouble. Rose <laughs> you guys got me mixed up with something <sighs> else. No, no, I was I a troublemaker. I can see you with the alfalfa haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Every time his crush passes, he's like, if only. <laughs> <sighs> Why am I so unlovable? <laughs> oh, man. You're not unlovable, though. I was dude. probably DMing KB at recess. Yeah, he probably <laughs> <laughs> when you're in line at four yeah, square, you're like, wait. let's yeah. see what Kyle's yeah. doing. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to get to middle school. I was in a rental car swerving <laughs> off the road. <laughs> <laughs> so you could answer it back quickly. <laughs> Youngstown. <laughs> Youngstown on the way to a troubled four year old's uh, house. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy how the boys link up. I was DMing KB on the computer lab. <laughs> 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 the massive desktops. <laughs> <laughs> computer labs used to be all we had. Some bullshit. They still got computer labs like that? I doubt it now. Isn't How about colleges? All, probably all computers. It, I guess so. Probably more computers. Like, is there a computer lab? You know how in college people would go to the computer lab yeah, if you probably didn't have not. a computer? Because everyone has computers. I even had a computer in the computer lab, but there would still be a lot of people in there. Computer labs were awesome. That was always the best. 
I made my Twitter in a computer lab. Really? Yeah. Way back when, bro. Crazy, bro. Walked out of there, Roan underscore. Yeah. It was a different time. My first Twitter account was made by my first girlfriend, and she made it like her name and then boyfriend. No. <laughs> and then when she broke up with me, my first tweet was to Chad Ochocinco for advice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we find it? Oh, uh, it's deleted. Damn. My first tweet was to vote for the NHL video game cover. Like Who'd who would, vote who for? would Eric Stahl? I don't remember. What year was it? <sighs> Had to have been a long time ago. Yeah, you were definitely an early adopter. You had it in beta. I don't remember what I, I forget who it was. I feel like I voted for someone on the block. KVR? What? At Patty Kane? No. It had to be Kane. Taze, maybe? I think it was Taze. It was Taze, yeah. Taze. Why the fuck were you so obsessed with Chicago back then? Hmm. Because uh, my cousins grew up. My cousins were from Chicago. And they were wow, good so you have, you have roots there? Yeah, I used to go there every year for Thanksgiving. Every freshman year for college. <laughs> yeah, and for freshman year. But yeah, I, was, I used to be a big Hawks man. Black Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. I used to be too, back when they had Chelios. Fuck, NHL 97. You ever play that game on fucking... Beautiful sweaters. Yes. Beautiful no, sweaters. sweaters. I used to play... I, I, I used to play the 2K hockey games. Those were fun because you could change the speed and make the hits, like, insane. The hits were insane, no? Yeah, you could <laughs> fucking hit someone and they would like fly across the ice it was awesome fighting in those games there you go there it is yeah. is that it who did i vote for oh she oh tj oh <laughs> right. i loved the way he adopted the dogs 7 a.m a- 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 <laughs> the school bus <laughs> <laughs> damn that was nine years ago run those numbers up on that yeah let's get that vibe <laughs> Yeah, how yeah, was I voting for? Wait, 2014, were you in like middle school? 2014, no, I was probably in high school, right? What, what year did you graduate? I was probably a, uh, I was probably in eighth grade. Because, well, wasn't it just the Winter Olympics when TJ Oshi beat, uh, or no, when was, when, didn't TJ Oshi have like a massive, he like scored a shootout goal yeah. in the Winter Olympics? What yeah, year was that? 2014, I think. It was 14. It was a, that been. was like a big barstool thing. Did so he bring a dog home from Russia or 2012 something? Was yeah, London, that was 2014. So chai. So cheap. So it was, it was definitely Gus so cheap. Worthy, right? Didn't Gus Kenworthy bring a bunch of dogs home? Oh, so that's what it was. It was you were riding high off the Olympics. It must have been. January And did he make the cover? Was that a winning vote? I have no idea. I don't even know what NHL was that. I guess it was probably NHL 15, 15. right? Tash was a little patriot at the time. Yeah, I love the Winter Olympics. He did not get the cover. Damn. <sighs> Should have voted harder. Patrice Bergeron did. Oh, my God. That's Surprised like, I didn't vote for Patrice yeah, Bergeron. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I was probably trying rebelling. to like stray away, yeah. Yeah, country over team. Why would I not have voted for Patrice Bergeron? <laughs> country over team. You're down with Oshi. I miss those hockey guys. I, I feel like I got to talk to Grinnell more just to get a taste of the accent. He's start here to, today. Start to forget what the fucking... Rest of the nines, too. Always is. Mm-hmm. Start yeah. to forget what the colors of Africa look Yeah, I got to get a suit for that for the bar I'm, gonna, I'm going to buy one right off the rack. Yeah, that's a good idea. Where are you going to go? Zara, probably. I'm going to go to Robbie & Co. Shout out to them. They hooked me and Mook up with a little discount. For what? All for it tux. T- for what? They're right down the street. Why you guys got, got a tux? Tuxes? So I and we both needed one. For what? For a wedding. You and Mook are going to the same wedding? This is uh, this is in the past. Oh, got it. But I'm going to go back to them. Can I just rent a tux for a day? Because I don't want to have yeah. to buy... Everything I have is packed. Rent a tux for a day. I mean, that could be more expensive than buying the stupidest suit you could find. Hope you guys like these jeans because you'll be seeing them every single day. They look yeah. so damn good on you is the problem. It's a real issue. It's my thing with them is that how fucking good they look. How fucking handsome they make your legs look. Those are a good pair of slacks. It would pair perfectly voice, with an ice cold high noon. Mm. A good pair of denim. You beat me in sack. I'll give you my pants. What? I'll beat you. Those jeans are mine. Deal. <laughs> one, one for one. All right. You one go. try. All right. I'll go first. Have you warmed up today? No. This sack is brought to you by High Noon. Wait till you see this stuff. There's a High Noon sponsored segment. Four. <laughs> yeah. That's a mulligan. That's a mulligan. You get one mulligan, right? Oh, he said one for one. That was part of the deal. Fucking. Oh, my God. No. 
and five. All right. Oh. Yeah, you won. <laughs> well, like, All right. The river dance. I've never seen you stand so straight up All and right. down. Dance, please. Damn, KB. Fetch the sack and give me the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, kid. You I just <laughs> lost your pants. You just yeah, lost the North Face with this. <laughs> Dude, luckily you could. I'm better at hacky sack than you, and you know it. <laughs> I freeze up when the cameras are on. <laughs> yeah, behind you. all doors, shaky. Luckily, one thing that won't make you shaky is a high noon. Ooh, yep. <laughs> the fact that they just have zero malt in that beverage, it will save you a lot of stomach problems if you drink if you drink a high noon i mm. promise you that the malt the gluten-free all that stuff is to your benefit because 100 percent juice 100 percent tequila just real straight up ingredients delicious seltzers and you can get them in the the, the passion fruit the lime the strawberry the grapefruit they're all delicious you're going to enjoy all of them you can find them on drizzly or you can go to a local convenience or liquor store and just go to highnoonspirits.com if you want to find some high noon near you. For real. You owe him pants now. I know. So, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to rectify that one. But you owe him those pants. Got you. I got you. Did you wear them? Yes. Yeah, they would look good on you. Yeah, they would taper at your knee. <laughs> look stupid. That's the new wave, though. That's the new wave. I think those would fit him fine. They're, I think they would fit me bags just fine. There's some baggy johns. New out of order tonight, though. Yes, at 7 p.m. It's just hilarious. Standard time. Are we getting a? Are we getting a Nick sketch? Mm-mm. Yes, I'm in one, but I didn't. I was just I just acted. You're both in one. No mm-hmm. writing. Pretty good. Both of us. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for the viewer. And I asked because I knew and I saw it and it's funny. For your buck. I liked it. We should start doing this monthly. What's that? We four. Say less. Yeah, I mean, no sass. What's the? Oh my god! Uh, that's what's stopping. Oh, no, it's fine. I told KFC I wouldn't. <laughs> 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 I promised him. Promise me you won't mess when? with those guys. <laughs> when were you able to talk about him? Were we, me or Kyle couldn't hear? <laughs> oh man, uh, too many times. Yeah. Too many times. Too many times. Now that would be fun. If we uh, go to um, Chicago once a month, or they come here yeah. once a month, I, really I say know. yeah. You come to Chicago once. We only do uh, only one person has to travel once a month, and we log two epi- two to three episodes. Only so we two, put two out people have to travel. A monthly episode, and it's like three hour episode. Th- yeah. All right. So only you only have to fly once every two months. All right. Yes, you only have to fly Perfect. once yeah, every two months. Yeah, that's very doable. Sure. That's reasonable. Because we could just be already doing shit. You know what I mean? Like if we have to go out for right. the shit at the whatever in September. Actually, I guess we're going to be out there in September and you October are. anyway. Yeah. All right, cool. There's those two months and we'll owe you two. In November, December, you guys come to us. Thanksgiving. For the Christmas party. Thanksgiving at Sassy's. We'll be here anyway. Yeah, this is, come on. Thanksgiving at, at Sassy's house. Can you Should have we a call it? At my apartment? Yeah. No. Let's, uh, and let's get it sponsored now, so we're obligated. All right, let's get it sponsored by uh, Broback. That'll be awesome. We'd love to have them. Love it. Or High Noon, honestly. I genuinely am a consumer of, of that product. Let's so. get it sponsored by Jester Hacky Sacks. Um, Do they have the money best, like that? The, the best suede around. sack in the game, Yeah, in my opinion. What's their marketing budget, though? A couple bill. What's the budget? TJ, can you look up? Is it a publicly traded company? I don't think. <laughs> I heard Joe Biden might get indicted for tra- uh, for uh, trafficking, human trafficking. Really? Yeah. Did you hear this? Twitter. It's a pretty big one. A, s- a congressperson was uh, tweeting about it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. That's gigantic. You guys missed it. Zod just jumped up and freeze framed with his fist up. <laughs> Yes. Get him. Get his fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. There's in Trump. Lock him up. Doesn't Trump Lock have like ten up. days to turn himself in? Uh, I don't know. Into what? Into. <laughs> he's turning himself. He has to turn himself in in like Georgia. We're getting a mugshot. They said a Trump yeah. mugshot. Trump. Yeah. <laughs> oh they God. said it's coming. Oh. Yeah. They were like, we. Yeah. He has ten days. Or it's that probably nine T-shirt days is now. going to be so yeah, popular. T-shirt. The profile pic. 
Old Row is going to be pumping those t-shirts <laughs> out. Oh my god! That's actually going to save us. Yeah. Old Row has been dropping some in- <laughs> incredible tees. We need we need them more than ever now. Old Row, we need your best minds on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> We need, what, what's some derogatory shit we could say about uh, Biden's like brain? Did you see his truth about the women's soccer uh, team? <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> I mean, she, them, t- <laughs> That's fucking genius. <laughs> they were so excited they just left it at Times New Roman. Yeah, yeah, they just had yeah, to get it off yeah. the <laughs> in yeah, black and white. Times New Twelve. Who, oh, ate, they got all the, the who ate all the pussy yeah. trucker? <laughs> I need that now. <laughs> who ate? Oh. Yeah, quick question. <laughs> we have our best designers working on that. Yeah, I bet there's a kid in high school who bought that shirt and like sent it to his like friend's address so that he'd go pick it up and his parents wouldn't find it. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, he just like has it in his dresser. <laughs> or like you wear it to school on like an important day or something yeah. like that, thinking it's like really funny. Just like yeah. walk around smugly with your hands in your pockets. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're sitting there, you're like, I probably shouldn't have, I shouldn't have worn this. You regret <laughs> it as soon as you're on the bus. <laughs> start sweating your ass off. <laughs> Are they gonna fight? Yeah. They're, they're gonna call me down to the office and search my bag. You walk into the school with your backpack on the front. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah, because he's got who the, ate all the pussy. Got the, who ate all the pussy shirt on? <laughs> Turn your backpack around, Mister. <laughs> What? What's I always wear it like this. <laughs> now, like when a parent makes the kids smoke the entire pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, you I'm gonna, to now you're going to eat all the pussy. Yeah. Oh, you think that shirt's funny? Now you're going to eat please all the pussy. no more. <laughs> oh, you learn your lesson. Until, it's done, until she's done. Oh, please, no. I have a shirt that says, it says Viagra. It's like a, it's like a, it's like the pronunciation of Viagra and then it has the definition and it's like a, it's like a drug. It's like a drug that makes blood flow to the man's brain or something like that. And I like I got it like a thrift store and I wore it to the gym, and I was humiliated. Yeah, dude. <laughs> as soon as I got to the gym, I was like, "What the fuck am I doing?" I was like, "Why am I wearing this fucking shirt?" <laughs> I, I still get really embarrassed. Yeah. Shirts. Yeah. Or yeah, it says like it increases blood flow to the man's brain. It's <laughs> so stupid. I know. So dumb. I know. But you got it because you're like. I just have. I got. Someone sent it to me. Someone sent me a bunch of shirts and they sent. And that was in it. I was like, oh, this is funny. And then I wore it to the gym and I was humiliated. Did people see you and wonder? Of course. I was like, wearing a shirt that says Viagra in massive letters. They squint to read it. Wasn't there. Didn't they used to have like Viagra like jumpsuits though or some shit? Or like. They, they definitely had like lean jumpsuits. Yeah. Newport jumpsuit. Yeah, no, I think I've seen the Viagra ones, yeah. yeah. I feel like there's Viagra jumpsuits. I think Viagra's like trying to be more than just a sex pill. Like they're trying to be a brand. Yeah, and like Hello Kitty. merchandise. It's probably like Barstool. It's like they like make most like of their money off Loco started making STD tests. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Have you guys ever seen that? No. For Loco STD? Well, th- th- their user base needs it. That's just yeah. awareness. Yeah. Like our user base needs body wash. There was one or no, was it an, I think it was an STD test, right? Or was it? I forget what it was. It was in the office. Nick, who's that Japanese company that unintentionally became sexual? Hitachi. They're as embarrassed of their magic wands. So the it magic so wand is a stuff. product for what? It was it's a back massager, to... but I believe it's for oh, the no, clit. I believe it's used for the clit. clit. It's the Q-tip of the pussy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're very embarrassed that it's used for what it's used for. Yeah, I'm sure they're so embarrassed that they sell out every place that they sell online. Wait, what is that supposed to be? I don't think it's a for your pussy. Massage. Isn't that what like every single vibrator looks like? I hope They're not. Fucking tiny as hell. Yeah, they make the mini too. For yeah, mini pussy? <laughs> looks like a protocol droid. What size pussy should I... What's <laughs> <laughs> what size pussy should I get you? What size pussy are you? <laughs> what size pussy? I want to get you something nice. I've got them all because I don't know what size your pussy is. Yeah. <laughs> you return it if it doesn't fit. If this one's too big, I can get you a small one. Or if this one's too small. <laughs> yeah. Imagine one being way too small. Just getting sucked up in there. <laughs> like a tube at a bank teller. <laughs> Thank you. Tender. Tender 20s. <laughs> 
That's gross. That shit is gross. But there's probably like a factory where they make that shit. But they also make like lawnmowers and like stuff like that. But they they're associated with making women come. Yeah, I get it. So much shit is made in factories, and I never see the factories. Never. I no. don't know where any of the factories are. They're not in. Aren't they not in America? Those are. There's aren't. definitely factories there's in America. Definitely factories. Yeah. What do they make? M and M. I grew up next to some factories. I dog food. Pure, yeah, like, yeah. obstacle factory. Downtown in a Wheeling, factory. you'll see a big sign that says "largest cut nail factory in North America." Yeah, whatever that is. Well, that's closed. Yeah, they got the dog food factory in Denver. They got the cereal oh, I heard factory. That, that whole town smells abysmal. Yeah, they got the cereal factory in Buffalo, right by Helium Comedy Club. There's one in Michigan too. Yeah, the whole, the whole it all smells like Cheerios. The Michigan one all stinks around there too. In like wherever Airsoft Fatty lives, there's a Michigan. I guess po- maybe Post is up there. Oh yeah. Are they? That's um. Or isn't that where Kellogg's is? Maybe it's Kellogg. Yeah. That's gotta be what it is. Beautiful little town. Lovely little town. But yeah. I just never see the factories. I would love to like just see the little factory workers going in with their pails. Oh yeah. It's Gold crazy. Sandwich. Everything in here is made in a factory. Yeah. And we don't. Never see none of it. What percentage of the items in this room have been on an airplane? All of them. Everything? I assume so. Damn, there's probably people in this office that haven't been on an airplane. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Grab it. There you go, a little ball for my boy. <sighs> my mom sent that to the office, and she said, I thought your coworkers would like it. <laughs> I well, reached it. Right. We do like yeah, it. Yeah, it's a good-ass ball. A great ball. And it's safe. It's the kind of ball that you could get a hit in the head with. And yeah, that's laugh. probably why she was probably off. like, she probably yeah. saw oh, me you spike <laughs> you in the head. And she's like, maybe give him this if yeah. he doesn't know how to play with others. You just go, <laughs> what the hell, dude? What the fuck, man? After yeah. Spiked in the head. I know. It doesn't bother you. We need beach balls. What's the deal, dude? Yeah. What's your fucking problem, man? <laughs> What's you the run, dude? Me. What's your dick like, homie? What are you into? What is that? What doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> What's your dick like, homie? <laughs> what are you into? You guys saw the uh, boss man's here today? Yeah. Prez? Prez, Prez yeah. what time did you guys get in today? Eight. I was in before sunrise. Prez is here? I didn't see any clips of him in That's here. C- you just rolled in an hour 20 ago. No way. <laughs> Me? I've been here all day. You were editing. You were in the editing bay. I was doing some stuff at home. <laughs> I mean, just fucking nail down some problems. All about... Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about just compromise. <laughs> I, I, yeah, life is a trade-off. Yeah, life is a balancing act. Yeah, life is a balancing beam. <laughs> it's a fucking fact. But yeah, Big Prez was in here today, and we have the case race coming up. I feel like we got close Prez. to figuring out some uh, Prez. teams for the case race potentially. Mm-hmm. You think Dave would do the case race? Nope. No. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, it does big numbers. I don't, he's a, I don't think he's a beer drinker. I don't or know if he's a you. booze hound. You're not a booze hound. Not. You do it. I do. They were saying have the teams be original since uh, KB and Brandon are both. They're, they're, they'll participate, but they're not trying to binge. But it's not. I functionally can only have like four. Yeah. So and, she'll still get fucked up. And Brandon said he could only have the about the same yeah. amount. And so we are going to. Uh, I think we're going to split it up with Yak. A, a radio yak versus a YouTube yak. So me, Big Cat, and Che against Sass, Nick, Kyle, and Brandon. A three, Old school a, versus new school. A three Love on that. four. I like that matchup. Three on four matchup. Retirement and match. In the booth, yeah, retirement match. Um, losers a coward. And the booth is just going to booze on their own. Or what do you What do you guys want to do? What, you, what's, you guys can compete, try to win. I, yeah, I think honestly, if we went two against three against four and the two one, that's possible. Three and the you, yeah, these two are because they don't have to worry about talking. But uh, TJ also said that he was a bad boy last time. Was yeah. TJ? Were you a bad boy? What does that mean the leopard of sleep kept on climbing up yeah. on his head? I went uh. to go help Quiggs edit the episode afterwards, and I was just asleep in like the row of his desks at two a.m. It's because you didn't do cocaine like the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah, are we going to get some PEDs? Yeah. Some Addies? Yeah. 
I'm trying to get some Benzedrine. Old school stuff. Wait, isn't that a ben, Ben's what? What's Benzedrine? Will that knock you out? Benzedrine? What is that? Isn't Benzedrine like old Adderall? It's like the original Adderall. It's like what all those writers used to take. I don't know nothing uh, about that. Uh. A dream? What's a dream? Isn't that what it is? Can we look that up? Benzedrine? That's what Shell Silverstein was using. I think they were all taking it. I love Shell's work. Oh, and if, uh, nice. Benzedrine. Psychostimulant. First synthesized. I'm pretty sure it's just Adderall. There's got to be something more than Adderall. Uh, that looks like meth. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what if you look up Adderall, that's what it's yeah. That's too. Amphetamine, that's, amphetamine. Is, that's Adderall. Adderall is amphetamine. Those use meth. Yeah, what drug keeps you away? Okay. Wow. What's it's called a Black Betty? That's kind of cool. Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, Black Benny. Yeah, I'm trying to get some Bennies. All right. But at Bennies, I thought were Benzos. Benzo, yeah, that's a confusing name. Maybe a white Benny. <laughs> Yeah, I want, I'm excited for the case race. I'm too. We have a busy week next week. I know. The Barstool Award's coming up. And that's all I'll say about that. If yep. You know what I mean. You've already said too much. You know what I mean. Yeah, we don't want people Shit. knowing that this the big thing is actually coming up. So we'll keep it to ourselves until the last second. Who do you think's going to win fattest? <laughs> it's tough. A lot of contestants for that one. <laughs> it's going to take 15 minutes to read the nominees. <laughs> it's going to look like the opening credits of Star Wars. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, man. We need to have a trans division for that, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. Just to get it right, because it's just getting muddied. It's just getting a little bit fucking muddied. Muddy like my cup of coffee that has Southern Comfort in it. Mm-hmm. Adam, fuck yeah! Being young means making art. Is this us? Am I incorrect here? Cool. All right. Soco. Being young means ar- making arguably tasteful choices. If it was tailgating in the negative five degrees or elevated surface you decided to dance on, perhaps those weren't the best ideas. But drinking Soco whiskey—that's <laughs> always a tasteful <laughs> choice. <laughs> With its iconic recipe. Of mixing stone fruits and spices, SoCo is versatile and easy to drink with every occasion. Try SoCo sh- Sour Shot today. SoCo Sour Shot. They're easy to make. One part SoCo, two parts sour mix. Done. Drink. Enjoy. Make a more tasteful choice and choose SoCo. Check out southerncomfort.com to learn a whole lot more. You should have asked. Well. Actually, I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit before I say what I was going to say, and I'll say something nice and pleasant right now about how excited I am. God is good. Yeah, about how excited I am for God. God is good all the time. That's yes, how you she end is. That, that's, that sentence. What if God was one of us? Sass, what do you think we're going to sing once you get a little bit of a tipsy? That's my bad, bad. I don't know. The throw. Oh, Nikki from downtown. What about face paint? True, we do need to figure that out. Yeah. Well, Thursday's yeah. episode is interesting for that because we're going to be leaving. Mon- Monday we're filming three episodes, right? Yeah. Three? So yeah. The middle episode, which is my dad drinking a bunch of root beer, that airs Thursday. Uh, yeah. We'll be sporadically leaving to get face painted during. And then we're doing the case race after that on yeah. Monday? Yeah. Monday's the 20th? First. Hmm. Mm. Has he been practicing? <laughs> he did have one over the weekend at his at his mother's house. Oh, so he's good to go. He's worried about sugar intake, about dying of a. Well, you only had one. Yeah, I don't know if that's practice. He's, he's wetting the go? whistle. He's been out of the game oh, okay. for a little bit. He's not a soda drinker. Yes, what? I'm worried. He's not a soda drinker. root beers. Yeah, that was a a random occurrence. He was like, <laughs> I'm, he went root beer mode. So is he like, I'm gonna get thirty. I'm gonna do it. I don't know. He's, he needs zeros. Root beer zeros. I wonder if yeah. they make those. He took off work. That's awesome. He yeah. put in his uh, PTO request. Big Cat said, I have to come drink root beer. That got approved? I guess. That's fair. I think that's fair. I'm, I'm very, for him. He's very excited. He's Anytime never been you have a, re- a rare record like that, it's like a big badge of honor. All yeah. right, enough tasteful stuff. What, what were you going to say, Ron? What the fuck shit you should have had to John Richin <laughs> to talk about uh, the Benzedrine. Yeah, the Benzedrine. What's that? 
What? <laughs> like Adderall. What? Like Ad- Adderall. Is that his thing? I think on the on Friday <laughs> show he <laughs> talked about doing meth or something oh, like that. Oh, shit. No yeah, the boys, the, those boys had a lot to get off their chest. In yeah. a naughty, naughty way. Um, Barstool, Barstool Store also has a 20% off sale for the rest of the day today. Mm-hmm. Support Barstool. This is a good time for you guys to support Barstool. We're finally out from the overwatch of corporate overlords. I think that we're, this is a good time to buy some shit from the Barstool Store, specifically the Yak stuff, specifically that white t-shirt in the middle. One hundred percent of the proceeds go to SAS. Yes, and that's why you need to buy it now. Truth. SAS is still a yacker. For the time being. For the time being, what's the situation for stews? I don't know. Because there's a chance I might not be able to go. What the fuck? Oh. Why? Yeah. Why? I might have to go home to see my sister before she goes to college. See her? Yeah. You've seen her so much. You saw her your whole life. I haven't been home in like six months. So just see her on Wednesday. She leaves on Wednesday. How far is college? Vermont. So it's next to, it's still in New England? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's actually probably closer to me now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I won't. Yes. I just feel like I should. Nah, no, bro. Right, I'll tell what her year that. year of college is she going into? Freshman year. Ooh. Yeah. No, her, your parents are the. Let them be emotional about it. They don't. You don't need to be there, like loading in the dorm room. Like, honest to God, I think you'd ruin it. You would ruin it. Can we go, guys? Yeah, you would be such a. Right, I'll tell her that. <gasps> I'll say Ron said now. Yeah. That Ron said I don't need to see you. There you go. But what would your play be if, like, upon her departure, like, hug her endlessly, like? <laughs> no, I would just go home. <laughs> so proud of you. Have dinner with them. Do you like be extra nice to her? Maybe, maybe I can still do that. Maybe I'll just go home that night. Yeah. yeah. Let's go home after Stu's. There you go. Yeah. Easy solution. Stu lives out by JFK. Does he? I don't know. I've never been. Never It'll been be a fun years. day. It's have any of you been to Stu's? Never have. Never. 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 We got to keep it packed on that. If any of us go in the pool, we're all fully clothed. I'm not taking my shirt no off. One no chance. Takes <laughs> shirt off. No one takes shirt off. Today's 4K technology. <laughs> no one. God no. With the judgy boys in the chat, <laughs> it'll, it'll oh, yeah. zoom in on the ripples my skin makes as it breaks the plane uh. of the water. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like that. <laughs> the slow motion of an apple getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking my shirt off. It's the last thing. And I no need. one can. Now. I don't want Big Cat being a hero fucking yeah. ripping. Yeah. What? I'm taking my shirt off. Big tank. Yeah. Come on, guys. You're being pussies. No one gets to take off any clothes. No, we just have to reverse gaslight him and just be like, dude, no. You're yeah. old man. Like People swim with their clothes on now. And it, Watch this jacket. Brandon, all clothed. I'm talking, we need to get sw- swim shoes. Yeah, I'm probably going to get a wetsuit. Wet suit. Yeah, that one of those old timey. The topic. crew pictures. We can't have that. We cannot. I can't, I'm not going out like that. No, and then, but like, I think, yeah, because then we'd play chicken, and then the top person playing chicken always, yeah, the way the, the posture, chicken. yeah, yeah, you we're not going out like after that. eating just Can't whatever like food we decide to order after drinking twenty beers. Oh, we need to, we gotta go, sh- yeah, full tarps on. That's gonna suck. I might like tuck mine in. So it doesn't even. Yeah, I might wear a suit so there's like a jacket over the top of it. Yeah. yeah. So so it like doesn't even cling to my body. So there's something else preventing. The yeah, cling. I'll probably wear something really tight and then a shirt over that, and then a shirt over that. Yeah. yeah. You need the third shirt. Yeah. Sweatshirt, something heavy. Like a poncho, maybe. That would be good. <laughs> and that'll just blow in the wind. Let's get a round of ponchos. I think the old metal diving suits, the Cuba Gooding Jr. ones, would be the move. Because it's meant for swimming, you know, it's not. This isn't that kind of show. This is not that kind of show. We're not body guys. So that's no, me. Kyle. Kyle, See, you're probably pissed off right now. I trained like a year straight for this every day. <laughs> In case we're going to stews, that's why you're not drinking at the case race. You don't want to get it bloated. It's one thing to be shirtless, but another one to be like wet and like the so day like, after a case race the day after just tons of beer no yeah no. none yeah. of us we have to be we have to stick the, we i need the booth on this one too za i know you you don't mind popping your no, top he off he doesn't mind stand in solidarity with us 
watching beads of like water run down Kyle's body just perfectly straight and streamlined like the Autobahn while mine's <laughs> taking scenic routes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the Pacific Coast Highway. <laughs> mine's going to be catching air off the liftoff of my stomach. <laughs> like an evil like Knievel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Now Kyle's with he'll pro, it'll be like slaloms over his abs. Yeah, it'll it, the, wa, the beads of water will be having a blast. <laughs> I was gonna yeah, show yeah. up to the bus in the morning, be like I forgot my shirt. I don't wear. <laughs> totally forgot. I lost my shirt. My shirt. Are you guys serious? Like a bare naked lady song. Yeah, yeah it's ban. Well, no, we'll just we'll all wear shirts in the pool. My shirt. We'll all wear clothes in the pool. Yeah, I'm with it. We Honestly, have to go in the shirts pool. Don't look good on no. me. Yeah, no, yeah, but they, the no, way they no. cling to yours looks no. good too. Anyway, you're nobody's going to look at me no and just be like, "I bet he's ripped under that <laughs> <Yeah>. shirt." <laughs> what is the? Uh, but there's a difference. Are we going swimming? You have to swim. Big Cat was texting in the group chat yesterday, being like, "Dude, I can't wait to get in the pool. We're going to do so much fun stuff in the pool." And all I was planning was this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Like, we're not going to unionize to protect Barstool against, like, whatever, but, like, I'd unionize for this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll quit. I'll just say I'm quitting if you guys make me take my shirt off. I'm walking out. They'll be like, all right, good. That's actually, it works out good for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Saves us a lot of time. Yeah, fuck. We got to keep our fucking shirts on. Brandon doesn't mind taking his off either. No. No, I think he minds. He does it. He's, I guess he's he's, we he's wearing it like armor. Perpetually bullied. Yeah. But there's like even if the shirt even if it's not no one's going to be convinced you have abs, there's still the shadow of a doubt. You know, our court system is based on facts and until people have the facts, you can still you, you can play the mental gymnastics. It's not even that. It's just like, oh, it can't be that bad. They have an idea, I'm sure, but it it is. Yeah. It's worse. Yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe we need to make a change in our lives. Hell no. <laughs> Dude's got to not go swimming. I'll just keep wearing solid black shirts with a heavy graphic <laughs> yeah. on the front. <laughs> I'll still wear shirts that all weigh at least one pound. Mm -hmm. A full pound. That's how thick I need my... One pound tea. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle, bro. Yeah, I mean, no, I just... Well, do next year I'll be able to ch do this. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> one day. I heard that uh, another content creator here tried to get you to do a torso reveal on their show, and you still wouldn't do it. No, because it's it's out of now. I think I've hyped it up too much, and I think it'll be underwhelming. Yeah, you better have like twelve abs <laughs> of that thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think it's good enough. Who tried to be, who tried to make you do a torso reveal? I think just like the fact that I've been lifting, I've been bulking for so long, yeah. people will, will expect a lot. See how he didn't answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> you try, oh, Vibs. Oh, okay. For what? We did uh, did Truth or Puke. Oh. Same. What was Truth? I guess don't. Yeah, we'll see. You'll spoilers, see. no spoilers. No spoilers. Don't spoil that. Please don't spoil it. You can't spoil that. Let my people go. Uh, Mr. Sparky wishes he had that fucking melody. I think he's got it. Fuck, bro. Look at that poor ass Not plant. out there. My bitch ass plant. That's your plant? Yes, that's the one I bought like th four years ago. It looks like Charlie Brown's Which Christmas tree. Yeah, it does. Yactus is dying, too. The Yactus is dying? One of the, it's in one front of, the, of you guys. Yeah, yeah, one of the stems of the Yactus died. Where is it? I didn't even see it. I forgot about it. How, how it was in the other, it was in the po other podcast room, yeah. Oh, it, it was, was there? there. That's sad. One of the f one of them has completely turned black and died. The other one is still vital, but we need to get that bitch over by some sunlight. Stat it being in the middle of the office like that is going to kill it. Fuck, that's so pathetic. There was one that Jen Simons bought at the exact same time, and it's turned into a fucking seven foot Christmas tree. Why oh, has a bitch ass little? Not that. Oh, that that's ugly. Oh, that's mine too. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> that one's oh boy. I had other. Pl where's my succulents? I had three succulents that are doing fine. People just think they could do anything with my fucking plants. It's pretty freaking annoying. I do regret watering them with Pedialyte that one day, or whatever the fuck it was. Whatever our electrolyte drink was, Revitalite. Revitalite. Um. All right. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the fucking wheel. 
Good yak, boys. It was fun. Let my people go. Okay, name will. Death to yak. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Not death to yak. <laughs> So a n- little name wheel. And this could land on anybody. Remember that. <laughs> get Stefan off of there. Let me guy. fix the name. Yeah, let's get S- Stefan and Scoofmaster. Who the, who is Scoofmaster? It's uh it's Connor Griffin. We found his old YouTube. And it was Scoofmaster? Yeah. Scoofmaster. Respect the hell out of him. I love Connor Griffin. Look at those legs, Roni. Yeah, those look nice. Those look nice. Smashing them down into the chair. Yeah, that's that's what the I move. Do. It makes it look way bigger. You just look like a disembodied torso with that lighting, Kyle. Yeah, oh, yeah, my in. black pants. Those are your pants. Yeah. Damn, you're wearing my boy's pants. It's <laughs> weird of you, Kyle. Kyle's over here wearing oh, Nick's wait. pants, which is... Oh, it's been one. I was around a bunch of battle rap dudes this week that are, like, heavy pausers. Mm-hmm. They just pause you at all times with anything you say, and it's actually so fun to be around dudes who are like that. How much gay shit do you say? And and you, I don't even realize how much I say. But you'll be like, yeah, like I, I can't believe he like came from behind in that battle. It's like, whoa, yo, yes, yeah. boss, yo. It's like, yeah, I don't know if he won in the building, but he'll probably win on the polls. Like, <laughs> yo, oh, yeah. the <laughs> pause <laughs> patrol. Hey, yo, pause. We gotta start pausing each other. Yeah. That shit would be. I say way too much zesty shit. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we'll start pausing. Yes, nice cock. <laughs> Great fucking cock on you. Pause, dude. Pause. What? Christ. <laughs> Do you know what that sounded oh, like? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you guys got me again. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just pausing a guy as he's fucking another guy so he has to stay in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pause me. <laughs> it's getting gay. <laughs> yeah, pausing somebody's gay. It's like, yeah, slow it down. Yeah. Let me watch. Yeah, they were nice. Um, all right, let's get the name wheel. What's the name wheel looking like? Come on. Yes, on. yes, let's go, brother. What do you got left on there? I have no idea. <laughs> I love that woo. I love the last one, too. Ow! <laughs> woo! What do we got? Read them off. Smoothie draft, trampoline park, sass orders you lunch, bike everywhere, or keto week. You were in your bag when you made this. <laughs> you are good shit, twisted, bro. That, crea- that, cre- that muscle, that creative muscle was flexed. And we made these like over a year ago. Ooh. All right, we'll do that for the twelve hours. No, 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 no. We're doing that right now. Right, Let's this find out whose right lunch now. he's ordering. Yep. There's uh, the the all uh, five of us on here. Because I'm it, and starving. It, and you can't be sass because if I remember correctly, there was a. You order sass lunch was one of the was also on there that, and it already hit. Yeah, lobster tail. It was lobster roll. It's gonna be lobster roll. Lobster roll. One or eliminator. One. Just do one. Just do one. Just do one. TJ, what you want? TJ, what do you want? I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> sass, you might be able to pick. Yeah, you get to pick. Uh, I don't. That's not what I had in mind. Okay, fair enough. It's your it's your thing. So, TJ, what do you want? Sauce me up some Lomos. Ooh. Where do you buy that from? Just search. Just type it in. <laughs> Get yourself something nice too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> nice ass dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate <laughs> it. I love TJ. Okay, what they say about you, TJ? That shit was nice as hell. You guys see Mrs. Matt Thoughten up on the timeline? What? What? Look at that. Oh. Wait, was she yeah. made by Pixar? What the fuck? Yeah. It's cheeky. She is from Queens. Damn. She looks like she's definitely 210. At least. That might be a gay Dominican dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it might be. That's 29. That's, that's, that's 59 210. That's what that looks like. 100%. That's what you're picturing her ass looking like? <laughs> like Mrs. Incredible? Yeah. Lomo Saltado. 
do you like hold her the back of her head like a like a two seam just <laughs> <laughs> spitball <laughs> all right you want yellow rice or white rice uh yellow all righty we're gonna nice. go two of those let's request some utensils Popular. Be so I'm doing saltado for for lunch today too. Uh, uh, wasn't on the wheel. Oh fuck! What? Son of a bitch! I did the wrong address. And you ordered? You already ordered it? No, but now I don't know how long it's gonna take. Just oh, went just went up fucking 15 minutes. That's Find another place. Answer. There's got to be a Lomo place around that the corner. This looked so good. No, Lomo is always good. Yeah, but it had it had uh, potato wedges instead of red. Whoa. Whoa. Order it for dinner. Brother, you can't go to Saltado twice in one day. That's fucking insane. It's sacrilege. Rice, fries, and steak twice in a day? And one tomato? And one slice of one roasted tomato that you just eat around? Um... Let my people, people go. go. Uh, uh, uh. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Yep. yep. Bye-bye.